When I heard your voice, my heart it hurt. When I heard your voice, when you said my name, when I heard your voice, my Good morning. Quarter of Mashta. God is good. Quarter of Baba Baba Shti. Kum Rashta. Good morning, Canada, Chicago. Memphis in the house. Good morning, Dunlap, Tennessee. Good morning. Opportunity is knocking. When you said my name, Will you answer? When I heard your voice, my heart hit When I heard your voice, boshta. When you said my name, Kete breste de beste. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. In the middle of the night, my heart it yearns. In the middle of the night, in the middle of the night. Six o'clock p.m. In Taiwan. Good evening, Australia. Come on, God is good. All right, share, invite. It's time to crank this up. We need to get over the 200 mark. I got to start because I've got to end early today. I've got
got a dinner meeting in a few minutes, but I didn't want to skip this call. Share and invite. Let's get this cranked up. 6 p.m. in Taiwan. There's something bigger. Come on. All right, let's get started. Keep sharing. Hit that invite button. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. I'm the senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in Davie, Florida, suburb of Fort Lauderdale, the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. Today's devotion titled, I Will Tell You What You Need to Know. And here's what I heard the Lord say. You can ask me anything. I may not always tell you what you want to know. I may not always tell you what you want to hear, but I will always tell you what you need to know and what you need to hear. I will never lie to you, says God. I will never lead you astray. Though I do not reveal all I know at once, be assured that I will reveal truth to you little by little as you walk with me towards your destiny. I will share with you what you can bear. So ask me anything and trust me to tell you what you need to know. I am faithful. Amen. That's a good word. Today's scripture references Matthew 7 and 7, Numbers chapter 23, verse 19, and John chapter 16, verse 12. And the prayer starter for today, I have many questions, but you have all the answers. I know you do. So I'm asking you to give me the answers. I'm going to keep asking. Help me to be content with whatever you choose to share with me in your wisdom and your timing. I trust you to lead me into all truth. Father, we thank you today that you are the truth. You are the one who set us free. The truth sets us free. The truth that we know and we walk in sets us free. God, we want to walk in the fullness of light, the fullness of truth. So we praise you as truth. We praise you as light. We praise you as life. We give you praise and honor and glory for there's no one like you. You are the God of all creation. You are the God who creates (laughs) opportunity. You create Second chances, third chances, you create all things, everything we need, everything we could possibly hope for is in you. And if you don't have it, if it's something foreign, you'll create it. We give you praise and honor and glory. We we praise creator God, the God of all creation, the God who created us in his own image, the God who created the world with his words. We thank you, Lord, that we can frame our world with your words. And we do. We choose today to speak over ourselves what you have spoken over us. We choose to say about ourselves what you have said about us. You love us with an undying love. You are passionate about us, God. So we're going to love ourselves. We're going to receive your love, love ourselves, and pour out our love upon others. We give you praise and honor you as the God of opportunity. I don't have a long prayer time with you today, so I want to get this out. I want to release this. Opportunity knocking, opportunity knocking, opportunity knocking. God, we thank you that you yourself bring opportunities to our doorstep and those opportunities knock loud. They knock loud and clear that we would recognize the opportunity that you've put before us in Jesus name. We thank you, Lord, that you are the bringer of opportunities. God, we don't want opportunities that did not come from your heart. We don't want opportunities that are mistimed. We don't want opportunities that are uh, 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 appealing to our flesh and appealing to our soul, but are not good for our spirit and are not good for our heart. Father, I thank you that opportunity will knock loud and clear. We will hear the sound of opportunity. I thank you, Lord, that we'll begin to prepare ourselves even now for the opportunities that are at hand. I thank you, Lord, that opportunities will come and knock 
and we will say yes even if we don't feel prepared we will say yes to the opportunities that you lay before us we will say yes even if we don't feel ready I see many people out there and the, and the Lord has come with opportunity and you have declined it because you didn't feel ready let me tell you something you're probably never going to feel ready an opportunity does not waste time with the unprepared so you may not feel ready but you can prepare yourself and be as ready as you can be don't fail to prepare because you don't feel like you can get prepared in time father help us help us to understand that opportunity comes and opportunity goes or we want to come and go with the opportunity we don't want to miss our Kairos time we don't want to miss the moment the day of our visitation we don't want to miss the chance to go deeper in you to to be led and guided forth by your spirit and by truth into the next season into the next phase of our purpose Lord help us to be focused 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 help us Lord give us clear vision that we could see not just hear the opportunity knocking but see the opportunity knocking my God my God my God Lord, we don't want to just hear the opportunity knocking we want to see it so clearly I see many of you listening to me and the Lord showed you the opportunity many years ago I'm telling you many of you are coming into the opportunity now you saw you saw things to come the Holy Spirit is faithful to show you things to come you saw the things to come I'm telling you the Kairos the moment the opportune time it is approaching fast listen for it wait for it look for it expect it some of you have almost grown heartsick because hope was deferred because it seemed like the opportunity that you saw so many years ago in that vision by the Holy Spirit it's been delayed and it's been delayed and it's been delayed except it wasn't really delayed it just wasn't the time but now you're coming toward the time huh opportunities will seek you come on now blessings will chase you down and overtake you for some of you you don't have to seek the opportunity the opportunity is going to seek you out you're gonna to have to choose between this opportunity and that opportunity and the other opportunity because so many opportunities are gonna chase you down why because you're blessed I decree and declare I call you blessed Lord give us an outlook that we can look for the opportunity well no matter no matter what it looks like thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord every day is a day of opportunity an opportunity to bless your name an opportunity to do your will an opportunity to walk in love an opportunity to obey you for many of you I hear you saying well I don't see opportunity I, I don't know that I believe you you know what every day is filled with opportunities to bless to praise to press into his spirit to exercise your gifts every day is a day of opportunity every day some of you you're waiting for that big giant life-changing opportunity that's good you should do that you should wait for it you should pray into it you should expect it but don't neglect the everyday opportunities that are all around you he who is faithful over little would be made ruler over much father help us to keep an outlook for the opportunity help us Lord some of you angels are knocking on your door they want to take you to a place you have not seen eye has not seen ear has not heard wake 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 up opportunity is knocking at the door who will answer who will say yes who will say I will depend upon the grace of God to take me where I don't feel like I'm prepared to go who will answer the door who will receive the anointing to break yokes over others who are not as a, as fortunate as you opportunity is knocking opportunity is knocking opportunity is knocking for some of you listen the opportunity has been there all along the door of opportunity has been wide open you just didn't recognize the door Lord give us discernment to recognize the door not to walk by an open door of opportunity and fail to enter into it God help us help us to push open the door that's slightly ajar help us to discern that door that's ready to be fully open for some of you it's a partially open door and the Lord is just waiting to see if you'll 
push it open. Not in, I don't mean like in a pushy way. I mean, just gently push it open. It's there for you. It's there for you. God, help us, Lord, to close doors of uh, those doors that waste our time. Those doors, those doors that look like opportunity. There's, there, there are some doors and they look like opportunity. They look like a good opportunity. They look like a God opportunity and they're not. Lord, help us to slam those doors shut. Not to be deceived by the shiny, bright doorknobs. Not to be deceived by the big, uh, flashy numbers and the ornate door knocker. I just see that. Wow. Some of you were deceived by the fancy outward appearance of the door. And when you opened the door, behind the door, there were snakes and, and problems and drama. The door looked appealing. The door knocker was ornate. The wood cut in the door, it was, it was, it was ornate. It was, it was a beautiful looking door from the outside, but you walked through it thinking it was a God door and it was a demonic door. Or to help us, Lord, to remove our foot from evil. Help us, Lord, to get out of those rooms you never called us to be in and to stop trying to get in rooms we're already in and to walk into new rooms you've called us to, my God. Father, help us to seize the day to seize the opportunity. Help us, Lord, to stop walking in circles. Help us, Lord, to, to keep our eyes set upon you. Because, Jesus, you are the door. You are the door. You are the door. Jesus, you are the door. Help us to walk in your paths. Help us to walk in your way, in your light, in your word. So we'll never miss the opportunity you've set before us. Lord, help us to understand and know that you have good things planned for us every single day. There's opportunity every day, every day, every day. There's another opportunity. There's another opportunity. It might not be the one you're looking for, the one that brings natural increase or that divine appointment. But I just feel strongly about this today. To seize the opportunity of the day to be kind. Come on. To be loving. To be patient with someone who doesn't deserve your patience. To be merciful to someone who doesn't deserve your mercy. To be gracious to someone who doesn't deserve your grace. These little opportunities will pave the way for the bigger blockbuster opportunities. Father, help us to stay in line with your spirit. To be led forth by your peace. Order our steps to the door that's already open. Order our steps to the door that you're knocking on. Order our steps to the door that leads to the next step of our destiny. Lord, we don't just want opportunity. We want destiny. Opportunity is good, but destiny is where we're headed. Lord, we don't want to be opportunistic. That, 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 the guys have to say this. There's some people listening to me. You'll get mad when I say it. That's all right. There's some of you listening to me, and you just have an opportunistic mindset. That's wrong. You should look for opportunity, but you should not be opportunistic. That is half the problem with the body of Christ right now. They're not about relationship. They're not about uh, a friendship. They're not about love. They're about opportunism. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Don't take this prophetic utterance the, that, the, that the opportunity is knocking at the door. Don't take this, don't take this utterance and, and, and become opportunistic about it. God help me. Well, we don't want to be opportunistic. We don't want to use people like the world does. There's somebody listening to me and you're so helpful and you're so good and you're so kind and you keep getting taken advantage of by opportunists. And the Lord is saying, you're going to have to be more discerning in this season because I have those I want to connect you with. But as long as you're helping the wrong people, you can never connect with the right people. These opportunists are just, they've made promises to you. I don't know who I'm talking to. They've made promises to you. They made promises to you, but they didn't intend to fulfill those promises. They were opportunists. And you've not just fallen for this one time. You've fallen for it over and over and over again. Why? Because your heart is so big. And you want to advance the kingdom. And you want people to be happy and loving. And Lord, give us discernment. Give us discernment, God. Lord, give us discernment. 
Help us, Lord. Give us discernment. We want to walk through the doors that you're knocking on. Jesus. Jesus. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your opportunities. We thank you, Lord, that you give us discernment to connect with the right people that can open the door. Some of you, you're waiting on the one that can open the door. You're standing in front of the door. I see it. Some of you are standing in front of the door and you're waiting for someone to open it. There's someone who needs to do what God told them to do so that you can do what God told you to do. Father, I just ask you, Lord, to bring divine connections. Divine connections, God. Bring the divine connections, the door openers. Those who hold the keys to the doors that we would not otherwise be able to get into. But Lord, let us be willing and able to discern your, your spirit and your heart to open doors for other people. Not the opportunists, but the pure hearted ones. Help us to be those connectors. Help us to be those, those ones who are willing to share the opportunity that we've been given with to share the opportunity that we've been given with others who may not otherwise ever have the opportunity that we have be, that we have been afforded ba 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 shoko to ombrasti shiki tem brishti de bebebeshi korada ba 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 i decree and declare opportunity knocking on your door i decree and declare opportunity knocking on your door I decree and declare that you will hear the sound of the knocking and you will open up to what the Lord has for you. I break and bind all fear now in Jesus name. Fear of answering that door. Some of you, somebody listen to me, you've had a tremendous opportunity come your way and you denied it because of fear. You were prepared and you knew you knew that you could do it. You knew that you could do it. But you were too scared to to open the door and to walk through it. Father, I you obliterate and eradicate fear in Jesus name. Lord, bring that opportunity back around. Knock again and we'll answer. I break the powers of fear over your people in Jesus name. I thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against our opportunity shall prosper. Come on. No weapon formed against the opportunity that you've brought to our doorstep, the opportunity that's knocking, no weapon formed against it will prosper. We will answer the call. We will not bow to fear, rejection, procrastination. My, 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 my. Lord, knock again and we will answer. Knock again and we will answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Some of you, you, th you, 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 wow. You think you need some sort of resource that you don't have to answer the call, but everything you need is in you. And God will provide what's lacking on the way. If it's an external issue, if it's a, a money thing, if it's a, if it's a time thing, God will provide that. God will make it up to you. God will find a way. Trust him. Trust him. Step out. Korra ba 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 sha. Shiki tiri be 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 shiki tim broshti. Kiti ra ba 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 shi. Kiti mbrishti kiti hallelujah. Lord, we trust you. 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 We're going to step through that door. No matter how afraid we are, no matter what it looks like we're lacking in the moment, no matter how unprepared we feel, Lord, if it's you knocking, we will answer. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I've got to call, cut, cut this call short, but I want to share one more thing with you before I... Before I hang up, I want to share one more thing, one more truth. So hang on with me for just another moment. I've got to be downstairs by 6.30. Hang on with me for just another moment. I want to give you a chance to sow today. I'm in Taiwan. I am minister. I am running from 6 a.m. till 10 or 11 at night. I have ministered four and five times a day, not counting private meetings. Pray for my strength. I'm feeling strong. But it takes a lot out of you spiritually. And I'm not getting the time to recharge spiritually that I'd like. 
I'm praying on the breaks. I'm processing on the breaks. So pray for me. I've got one, two, three more days left and I'll come home. Three more days left. Three more days left. So most of the trippers are, we've been here for just about two weeks and I'm feeling as strong as ever. But I've got to stay filled spiritually. So pray for grace that I can do more with less time. I don't have the two and three hours here every morning that I have at home because the ministry is intense. So I'm having to recharge with less time. So pray that my time in prayer and devotion and study will be turbocharged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I go home, I will have left everything I have here in Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. I will have left it all, all there. I'm pouring out everything I have. I'm pouring out my life as a drink offering for Taiwan this week. So please do keep me in prayer. I'm having the time of my life. It's not easy. It's not easy. There's warfare. There's all kinds of, but we're with such good people. And they know how to pray. They have a 24-7 house of prayer. I want to give you an opportunity to sow in this mission. Help us. Help us, help us, help us, help us. You can go to jenniferleclair.org slash missions. I'll be putting updates. I've got to get Pastor Austin to accelerate some of these vlogs, put them out of order so that you can see what we did in Nigeria, so that you can see... Uh, some of these other th missions that we've been on. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash missions. We come here. We pay our own way. We're leaving everything we have here. We're laying it all out. jenniferleclair.org slash missions. You can also just sow into the general fund, jenniferleclair.org slash give. All the different ways to pray are there. Cash app, dollar sign, jenniferleclair, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair. I don't have time to go through all of it. You know where to go. Help us out. Help us continue the work of the ministry. My messages have been spreading into China. Remember, I, people from China are, are beginning to follow me on Facebook. I don't know how they're getting past the, the firewall. I don't know how they're doing it, but, but the messages are getting into China now. You know, I've been trying to break into China for a long time. Hallelujah. Father, I I just lift up everyone who's praying, everyone under the sound of my voice, ask you to bless them, multiply this offering in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, go to the School of the Spirit, schoolofthespirit.tv, sign up for the School of the Prophetic, or whatever else school there you want to sign up for. Go to Eventbrite, sign up for the free stuff too. Go to ignitenow.org, you get your 15% discount on the schools when you sign up. There's all, I don't have time to make all these announcements. Some of you regulars out there, you know what to do. I got the prayers that paralyze the Python spirit. That's coming up on, on in October. In September, I'm doing a prophetic warning video with, with uh, Serafina Thomas. Go for it. Go sign up for what belongs. And go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just put out the next vlog today, Exposing Jezebel in the Nations. That's there for you. YouTube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire. Pastor Austin is the star of that show, I think. Go for it. Go for it in Jesus' name. What I wanted to share with you before I go is that you do need to pour your life out as a drink offering. You know, whatever you do, do it with all that you've got. Do it with your whole heart. We're here in Taiwan, and, you know, they said the difference between the people in Taiwan, this is one of the ministers that was sharing, the difference between the people in Taiwan and the people in China is that when they go to a conference in China, they, they, they don't know if that's the last conference they'll ever get to go to. So they go with extreme hunger, and they go wholeheartedly. And everything they do, the Chinese Christians, they do it wholeheartedly with everything in them. And so my commitment when I go anywhere to preach, but especially when I go to nations, how much more so when I go to nations, I've got to leave everything I've got. I've got to pour it all out. And you should be the same way. You need to pour your life out as a drink offering, as unto the Lord, in whatever area that God has called you to. Don't do anything halfway. Opportunity doesn't come to the half-hearted. Opportunity comes to the full-on, sold-out, fiery believer. You may get an opportunity half-hearted, but you won't keep the fruit of it. You won't see the increase of it if you don't do it with everything you have. Amen? Bless you. I got to go. I don't want to be late for this dinner meeting. Thank you. I'll be back with you soon.